Welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at the steps necessary to getting your Venus 1500 software registered. After you've installed Venus 1500 and you go to access the program each time, it's going to give you a warning with how many days you have remaining on that 90-day trial period. You can see in this exercise, I've only got 29 days left, so I'm going to go ahead and click Yes to complete the registration. Now when the software registration window opens up, you can see there's several key pieces of information that we need to gather from you uh, so that we can find you in our system and, and send off that license file. For an email address, we do need a valid email address that you regularly check. This is where the license file will be sent to, uh, so again, it does need to be a working email address. The last piece is the Dactronics order number. Uh, if you have that number, that's great. That helps us to uh, quickly find you in our system. But if not, you are still able to send off the email and your information without it. Once I've got all the information populated there, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And I'm presented with several different options. By clicking Contact Us via email, this will open up your email client on that computer, such as Microsoft Outlook or Novell and automatically populates all of the information that we need into the body of that email uh, along with the sender's address. Copy email will allow you to copy all of this information that you filled out into a Hotmail or Gmail or Yahoo account uh, if you use uh, an email client such as that. If the computer that Venus 1500 is installed on doesn't have internet, you can save the email information and then onto a flash drive and then take that to another computer where you do typically access your email from. As a final option, you can call Dactronics uh, and provide us the information over the phone. However, we do still need a valid email address to uh, send that license file to. It is impossible to provide that information over the phone. For this exercise, I'm going to contact us via email. So I'll click on contact us via email. And you can see that it opens up Microsoft Outlook and again all of the information is automatically populated in the body. The, um, the receiver's address software activation at Dactronics.com is already there and I can simply click send to send that off to Dactronics. Once you've mailed off the registration form to receive your license file, you'll want to keep an eye out in your email inbox. Uh, the email will come from software activation and the subject will be registration key. Now attached to that email is the .lic or the license file for your Venus 1500 software. We've made some changes with version 4.16 uh, in, in any later revisions as well to make it easier to complete the registration process. Uh, to get the software licensed what you'll want to do is simply double click on that license file and then click open. What this will do is this will open the registration right into Venus 1500 and complete the process for you. And you can see that that has successfully completed and I can just click OK. Now my Venus 1500 is fully registered without any expiration date um, on, on that registration. Now if the computer that Venus 1500 is installed on doesn't have internet access and you need to get email from a different computer, when that email comes in what you can do is simply just right click on the license file and then save as. This allows you to save it to a flash drive or, or some other type of media that you could then uh, transfer over to uh, the Venus 1500 computer. So you can see I'm just going to save this to, a, to an external hard drive. I'm not going to change the file name. You don't want to change the, the type of file or the file name or anything. Just save it as it is. Just click Save. And then now when I go into my Venus 1500 to complete the registration process, I would begin by clicking on the Application button in the top left, scroll to Help, and then click on Registration then click the button marked register you'll get this little warning that Venus 1500 will require a restart uh, to complete the registration process as long as you're good with that for right now uh, go ahead and click yes otherwise you can click no and come back to it uh, once you finish the work that you're uh, working on when the uh, the registration window opens up just click on register software on the right 
and then click the browse button and this will allow you to browse to that location that you saved the license file so I'm just going to click on that file name and click open and you can see that it copies all of the contents of that file into the the registration code window and now to complete the process all I need to do is just click on the register Venus 1500 button and now I'm fully registered with no expiration date um, and I will need to restart my computer uh, for, for that to, to take full effect.